Israeli airstrike on a house in Gaza has killed three senior Hamas military commanders, militants say. Muhammad Abu Shaymala, Muhammad Bar Um and al Atta died in the attack near the southern town of Rafa. They were among at least 19 killed, a day after Hamas's military chief Mohammed Daif reportedly survived a strike that killed his wife and child. An Israeli was severely injured as rockets were fired into Israel on Thursday, the army said. Hostilities resumed after peace talks collapsed on Tuesday. Israel has vowed to pursue its campaign until full security is achieved. Six weeks of fierce fighting have left at least 2,103 people dead, all but 67 of them Palestinians and most of them said to be civilians. In other developments, the Israeli Air Force attacked and hit six Islamic Jihad activists reportedly poised to fire rockets at Israel from northern Gaza An Israeli air strike killed four Palestinians as they were burying relatives killed earlier at a graveyard in Gaza City, medics told AFP news agency at least six Palestinians, four of them children, were killed in Israeli attacks overnight in the northern town of Beit Lahia and in Gaza City. AFP reports missile after missile Israel strike on Rafa demolished a four-story building, killing at least three people in addition to the Hamas leaders. Local man Hamza Khalifa told AP news agency there had been no warning, we only heard multiple F-16, warplane, missiles, one after the other, six or seven missiles. Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu praised the superior intelligence of the domestic Shin Bet security service and the precise execution of the attack. The three commanders killed were key to operations including smuggling, tunnel construction and capturing the Israeli soldier Gilad Shalit in 2006, the BBC's Yoland Nell reports.